Hello enchanted ones, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how I decorate my home for autumn with a few simple DIYs and ideas. DIYs that are either cheap or free and very easy to do and personalise. But firstly, I would just like to thank all my new subscribers for subscribing. I really appreciate all of your support so much. But also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new here. But for now, relax and keep on watching. The first thing I like to do when decorating is to change into the most cosy autumnal outfit and put on my favourite autumn playlist. I spent half the day doing the tedious side of the jobs, so this meant a deep clean of my home, dusting, decluttering and getting rid of any green or summer decorations to be fresh and clean for this new quarter. Once it was all done, it was on to the good stuff. So I laid out all of my decorations to see what I had. And yes, I had more than I remembered. But this is a great way to start off to see what you're working with. The first DIY I will be showing is, in my opinion, the most important decoration. Leaves. For many years I have used leaves that I have purchased at a craft store and I have accumulated a lot. They cost barely anything and I will leave a link to these below. The great thing about these leaves is that you can use them in so many ways. The first way I used the leaves was by piercing them and then threading them onto clear string. This is great if you want to wrap them around any furniture or mirrors or pictures and I use this method for my stick tree and if you want to see how I created this, the link is in my bio. And it also wrapped leaves around my cat's bed. The second way I used the leaves was creating these leafy fairy lights and it's a great way to make your home look extra cosy with minimal effort. I love autumn colours but for these leaves I wanted something muted to go with my home so I decided to paint them black, making sure to paint both sides. After they were dry I pierced a hole in them and threaded them up with wire which I then twisted. Now you have leaves that you can basically attach and twist onto anything. I then got my fairy lights and every once in a while I wrapped a wide leaf around them. And lastly I hung these around my stairs so I could look at them and feel extra cosy. I also did the same method using orange leaves and orange lights. Although I love buying things in craft stores, there is nothing like having a piece of nature brought inside. Going on a walk in autumn is of course one of the most beautiful ways to gain inspiration. And whenever I see something that catches my eye, I love bringing it inside my home to use as a decoration. Every year I create autumn wreaths from the nature that surrounds my home. Here is one I made a few weeks ago with what I found outside. So my first step was creating the shape of the wreath and the first shape was this triangular shape which I used three sticks. I then glue gunned this together. Once this was dry and I could hang it, 
then I built up leaves around this and just kind of experimented with where they fell. I really liked the idea of filling this wreath up with these beautiful leaves I'd found and I love the idea of layers. Once these were done I then added little fir cones around and also I wanted this hanging in the middle in the centre so I used a little bit of see-through wire to tie around it and then it hung beautifully in the middle. Don't forget to add a loop so it can hang up later. And there you go. Along with the wreath, I also decorate my altar with nature I find outside. I do this because it becomes more meaningful to me and also because, again, it's completely free. I am very particular when it comes to the final touches and I can waste so much time getting it just right. Although I do love doing this, it is my favourite part. I even went as far as changing the pictures inside these frames. I think it's really important to just go a little bit extra. The result was just as I was hoping. I had sudden bursts of colour throughout my house, yet it was not too over the top. I didn't want it to look tacky with brightly coloured leaves everywhere, so I only stuck these in a few places and I think it makes them stand out a lot more. I also love the lounge so much. I introduced smaller bursts of colour with this dark orange throw and the fairy lights, but I kept all other colours quite simple to match the aesthetic of my room. So to summarise, I love to have decorations that are personalised to me and my style. So whatever your style is, I can assure you, you can make your decorations right for you. There is nothing you can't do with a bit of your favourite colour paint. Thank you for watching Enchanted Buns. Let me know what your favourite decoration was down in the comments below.